It's hashtag Tasty Tuesday. Hello my lovely vapies. Welcome back. Today's video is all about Rasta Vapors e-liquid. So depending on how long you've been watching my channel, you might have seen me review Rasta Vapors e-liquid before. I did their Viscid collection, which is like their premium line, like the really, really good stuff. And I have fallen in love with their flavors. You guys may or may not know that Rusty Nails by Rasta Vapors is one of my favorite flavors of all time. It got in my best of 2015 video as well. It's a butterscotch marshmallow vape. Oh, it's so good. So today I decided to try some of their original line. This is the original Rasta Vapors line before they came out with the Viscid collection. I'll go ahead and show you the bottle art. It is similar for all of the bottles. Just the name at the bottom changes and it is blue glass, childproof dripper tops. These are bent drippers so you can get the last of the bottle. So I have eight flavors here. I'm going to try half of them today and maybe half of them later if you guys really want to see the other half after I experience the first half, the first four that I'm gonna pick. And these are the 15 mil glass bottles. And so they offer a 10 mil plastic bottle for $7, a 15 mil plastic bottle for $10. These 15 mil glass bottles are $11. A 30 mil plastic bottle is $16 and a 30 mil glass bottle is $17.25. A 60 ml plastic bottle is $28 and a 60 ml glass bottle is $29.50. These are available all the way from 0 to 24 milligrams nicotine, so that's 0, 3, 6, 12, 18, and 24 milligrams of nicotine. I don't often see e-liquid offered in above 12 anymore. I mean, even 12 is kind of rare, so 18 and 24, that's pretty rare nowadays, at least for all the e-liquids I've been reviewing lately. You can get a flavor boost with any of the e-liquids you choose, which is an added flavor uh, shot, and that does make it a little bit more. I think it's like a two or three dollars more, but I'm not exactly sure, so don't quote me on that just yet. And all of the e-liquids are 65% vegetable glycerin and 35% propylene glycol, except for the three milligram e-liquid, which is actually what I have here. That is a max VG e-liquid. And they do offer a sampler pack of three 10 milliliter bottles, for $16.50. So go ahead and read you the flavor names as well as the flavor profiles and then I'll go ahead and pick my favorite four from the bunch. So we have snozberry and this is funny, it's snozberries taste like snozberries. This is actually a raspberry and cranberry blend. We have Sam Squanch, which is a silly name. Sugary berries and fruits. Ooh, that sounds good. I might, that one I might have to do. We have Choco Berry, which is strawberries dipped in chocolate, and you know I'm gonna try this one. We have Trope Win, which is a minty peppermint menthol, so that will go in the second video if you guys want a part two because I don't wanna try this menthol and mint. Not my thing at all. We have Maui Punch, which is the traditional Hawaiian fruit punch drink, but better or so their website says. We have Blueberry Babylon, which is a blueberry and orange flavor. It's like a sweet tart. And it notes on this one, if it is too strong to let it steep a little bit longer. We have Dazed, which is a caramel apple flavor. So this, yes, I'm trying this, and this is probably gonna be first. And we also have Bloody Knuckles, which is raspberries and cranberries with a pinch of pink cotton candy. It's really a toss up between these five. What do I want to try? Okay, I'll go with these four for today. So the four I am trying are Sam Squanch. <laughs> Such a funny name, and it is, is Sam Squanch. Choco Berry, Days, and Bloody Knuckles. We'll start out with Dazed, which is the caramel apple flavor. I have some fresh cotton here wicked up on my Troll RDA on my Cool Fire 4 Plus because I need to get to know this baby a little better for the one month update. And I just, I love flavor testing in my troll. And it makes me feel bad because I usually would change between my 510 dripping atomizer or my troll RDA for those that do rebuildables and for those who don't or maybe don't know how. But I just, the flavor is just so much better. Ooh, wow. This is a really sweet smelling apple with a really sweet smelling caramel, like a super sugary sweet caramel and a sweet juicy apple versus like a bitter Granny Smith. So here we go with the dazed flavor. Ooh. Oh my goodness, okay. So I was expecting like straight up caramel apple. I feel like I'm getting red apple, which usually in a caramel apple you use the 
green ones, the Granny Smith apples. So I'm not getting that tart apple flavor, but I'm getting the juicy sweet red flavor. And the caramel on a caramel apple is usually like, it has that, this is more like a, like a caramel candy square. Like if you've ever had those chewy caramel candy squares, it tastes definitely more like that kind of caramel versus the hard kind of cover caramel shell that goes on a caramel apple. So it's like a unique twist to caramel apple. It still tastes really freaking good. Just not what I, what I was expecting for caramel apple. Mmm. You know what? Maybe there, it's like maybe it's a mix of red and green apple because I am noticing a little bit more of the tarty apple flavor, but still getting a lot of the red, juicy, sweet apple when I vape this. Mm. I could definitely see this becoming an all-day vape for me personally. Ooh, it's good. It's just not like I was expecting caramel apple because I've had lots of caramel apple vapes and ones that are like spot on the traditional green apple, caramel apple flavor. This is like a, a different version of it, but it's not bad. It's it's really freaking good actually. And I I kind of like the sweeter, chewier caramel versus the hard caramel that you, you, you're used to having. Okay, next I'm going to try a choco berry. This is a ch uh, chocolate covered strawberries and I'm super excited to try this flavor too. Ooh, whoa, oh my gosh, this tastes like a, or smells like, kind of like a candy strawberry versus like a real fresh strawberry. And a very light scent of cocoa. Huh, okay, hang on. Yeah, okay. So this isn't like a fresh strawberry. This doesn't taste like a real strawberry to me. It tastes like, um, almost like a dried strawberry or like a candy strawberry, but not a gummy candy, like a, a sugared dried strawberry. Like, if you've ever had dried strawberries with a little added sugar, that's what it tastes like. So it's kind of like way more sweeter than I was expecting because a real fresh strawberry, you know, isn't that sweet. They're sweet, but not like this is like candy. And the chocolate is very undertone. It's a very mild and it's like a cocoa, not like a Hershey's chocolate, but like a, a cocoa-y, like not cocoa powder because that's gross, but like almost like a dark chocolate. Wow, ooh, I could I could definitely vape this one too. You know, it almost it's almost like um strawberry jolly rancher kind of too. But I can get the the taste of the dried when you cuz I love dried fruit and I I love this flavor. I don't know. Um is that making any sense? I'm really Sometimes I feel like I'm giving horrible explanations for what I am tasting and flavor is so subjective. So what I'm tasting, you could probably not taste and something I may like, you may not like. It's all subjective, but if we have like the same flavor profile, then these videos are probably really helpful for you and finding new e-liquids if we don't have the same flavor profile, but you're watching anyway. Thank you. Wow. Mm. This is good, I have to say, because I was like almost about to say I like this one better than the caramel apple one, but the caramel apple is so sweet that I think I like these two flavors like the same level. I could see myself all day vaping these flavors. And it's weird because I don't really like chocolate vapes because chocolate is a really hard flavor to, to nail on the head, but this is like, like I said, it's more of like strawberry is definitely the forefront and the chocolate is like an undertone of, of dark chocolate. Okay, next I'm going to try Sam Squanch. <laughs> I just had to pick this one because the name is so ridiculous, Sam Scranch. I would love to know where they came up with that name. This is a sugary berries and fruits and sugary, you know, that's right up my alley because I love the sugary, sweet, desserty vapes. Let's smell it. Woo, it's definitely citrus. Mmm, but oh my god, I can t I can smell, I keep trying to say I can taste the sugar. I haven't tasted it yet. I can smell the sugar, and I can smell, I want to say like orange, or mmm, freaking like lemonade-ish. It's definitely, definitely a citrusy, fruity blend. But there's also berries in there, so if there was any berry, I'd have to say like raspberry, blueberry type. Not like a blackberry, like a sweet blackberry, like more of a tarty berry. Oh wow. Oh my god, this tastes oh, this tastes just like a candy that I've had in my life. Oh, what is it? It's so sugary and sweet. I love it, but not like over sugary, like overpowering, like where it's gonna hurt your teeth type of sugar, even though this wouldn't because it's not actually real food. But it's super sugary. I'm definitely getting blueberry, definitely getting something citrus like an orange. Mmm. 
Ooh, it's, it's very sugary and tropical. Oh, what is that candy? I almost want to say it's like a blue raspberry candy that I've had, but there's something in it that doesn't, it's not just blueberry. It's definitely citrusy as well. Wow. Oh yeah, this one's good too. It's a little too much blueberry because I'm like not a fan of blueberry vapes, but for me personally, but it's really sugary and really sweet and it has that like undertone of citrus like orange and it's actually freaking good. I'm trying to see maybe, maybe like a cranberry in there. I think that they favor cranberries in this company because a lot of those flavors had cranberries in them. I think this cranberry is definitely one of them because there's that tartness to it. It's almost like a super sweet, sugary, lemonade, blueberry, orange, like, blend. And I'm loving it. Okay, next I am trying Bloody Knuckles. And this I picked out because it had, it's like a weird blend. It's cranberries, raspberries, and a hint of pink cotton candy. So I've never, I've had those flavors individually, but I've never had them mixed, so. Ooh, oh wow. Cranberry definitely on the forefront of that smell. Raspberry in the background and like a tiny bit of cotton candy to seal it all in. Not getting a whole bunch of cotton candy, but it does say a pinch of pink cotton candy, so I wouldn't expect it to be the forefront of the smell. All right, here we go, last flavor of the video. Oh, wow. So the, the cotton candy really comes out in the vape. Like I said, I didn't really smell it, but it's definitely, wow, it's like a light fluffy cotton candy and it kind of makes the cranberry and the raspberry, like, they smell way more powerful than they actually taste. And it's definitely raspberry, cranberry, you can definitely get the tart of the cranberry and the tart of the raspberry with the sweetness of the raspberry as well, because cranberries aren't very sweet at all to me. And then the cotton candy is really light and sugary. Wow, it's like, it's confusing me because it's like, I've never had that kind of blend before, like fruity, cranberry, raspberry, cotton candy, but I can definitely taste each and individual flavor in this vape, which I'm very happy about because, like I said, it's an odd flavor combo for me. This one is like, even though it's got the tartness of the cranberry, it's pretty sugary and almost like bubble gummy, like pink bubble gum. Very nice, very nice. I'd have to say though, my favorite from all these, the dazed and the chocolate berry, the caramel apple and the strawberry chocolate, definitely those are my two favorites. The other two are good as well. Just maybe not an all day vape for me just personally, but still really good. I'm getting a really good throat hit from these, like a really smooth, I shouldn't say throat hit because there's no throat hit really, but a really good smooth vape I can inhale without feeling any irritation in my throat and definitely a thumbs up for these e-liquids. And I would try the other ones except the minty one, I'm just like dreading that. It's like menthol and mint and peppermint. Like that is just mint, <laughs> like I don't know if I can handle that. But if you guys want to see a second part two to these e-liquids, you can comment below. They do have actually quite a few other flavors on their website from the original Rasta Vapors line that I don't have here today that I would love to try if they ever felt like sending them to me. So that may be in the near future because like I said, these, they were all really good and really clean. Hmm. I think I could get used to this Bloody Knuckles one with the raspberry, cranberry, cotton candy. It's really weird. It's like you get the fruit and you're thinking like fruit, oh healthy. And then you get the cotton candy that mixes all together. <laughs> Anyways, the, definitely a thumbs up for these e-liquids. I will put a link below where you can check them out if you're interested. If you want a part two, comment below. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more reviews. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. I also have a second YouTube channel where I like to upload completely random videos of whatever I feel like. So if you want to see more of me that isn't vaping related, you can check out that channel. All those links will be below. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining kasa.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia Vapes and thank you so much for watching. Like no joke, I'm about to go ham on that dazed flavor though. And then second would be the choco berry. Even though they're like really close, I would, the caramel apple takes the cake for me. I mean, it's just one of my favorite flavor profiles.